Welcome to Pine Barren Knits, episode 25. I'm Hope of Hope Made Yarn Co. And I'm Keisha, Simply Vintage Designs. And this is a podcast about the fiber arts. Mostly knitting, crochet, sometimes sewing, maybe someday some spinning, who knows. I We were just at Vogue Knitting Live, we'll talk about that in a little bit. And someone showed me how to drop spindle. Oh. And I actually have a drop spindle, but I've... Drop it like a side. I had no idea how to use, so maybe I'll try it. <laughs> what, drop it like a side or? N no, try drop spindle. <laughs> Back that thing. No. Um, <laughs> oh, and I'm Keisha. Did I say that? I said I was Keisha. Yeah, so you we said Keisha of Simple Vintage Design. I said I'm Hope. And we're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I guess we'll. Wait, we didn't talk about other things that we talk about. What? Well, oh, like... sometimes, well, I didn't bring any books to this time. Oh. I haven't gotten well books. we talk about other things too sometimes yeah sometimes yeah. we talk about books oh and i make sometimes jewelry watching for my photography right yeah i didn't say that well yeah you said you're simply vintage design oh, i so didn't people... say that i i mean i guess we don't we don't normally talk about that i know we talked about it if you <laughs> been oh and we guess we should say welcome back people who oh boy. <laughs> viewers viewers that was the word i was looking for <laughs> past viewers and hello to any new viewers um <laughs> we got this <laughs> we got this it's okay that's because um, i was being a jackass prior okay, to there could have been some of that a little bit of that right before we got started but um yeah so welcome back if you have been with us before hey girls hey <laughs> and guys and everybody else hey. and hello if you're new here right. um yes she's right we don't often talk about what we do maybe right. but maybe at the end of the episode or some kind of middle i don't know if you've been with us since the beginning then you have seen our first or second episode when we talked about what we do and how we got into this and kind of what got mm -hmm. us into wanting to podcast um but we don't talk about that a whole lot yeah and you know i've actually you know it's interesting because i guess I, I, I don't know. I guess we just never really, we just get on with our stuff and we don't really that talk about what we've, but anyway. In my head, the song's going on. <laughs> she, she was singing right before we started. So, and of course, this is YouTube, so we can't sing songs that I sing five seconds. Other I'm not going to sing that one, but <laughs> there was a song we were watching Fargo. Yeah. And um, I'm not going to play it. But it's called the Poor People Store. But it's one of these, I'll play it for you after we're done. Oh, okay. And it's one of these like weird, catchy songs that eyebrows and I have been singing it all day. <laughs> that and a Britney Spears song oh. that they play in this uh, episode of Fargo. Very good show. My middle son had, because we, we went and saw the Wonka movie. And mm -hmm. if you haven't seen the Wonka movie, I guess this, oh, well, we're going to talk about it. Anyway, <laughs> the boys and I. We're not giving away any. No, oh, yeah. the boys and I went and saw the Wonka movie and we really enjoyed it. And uh, my middle son the other day had one of the songs stuck in his <laughs> head. I don't even know what the name, but it's got something about a poodle and doodle and all this. And <laughs> and it was like, it's like one of those earworm type songs. Yeah, that's just, the way this was. You know, lots of rhyming and so, so. My slippery. Yeah. He's like, it's not even one of the songs I like from the movie and it's stuck in my head. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we. We ended up, I think we ended up listening to the soundtrack so we could get it out of his head. <laughs> and he finally stopped it. And then he goes, oh, I'm not thinking about it anymore. And that was all it took to yep. <laughs> get it stuck back in his head again. So that was fun, kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, do we want to start with what we've been up to? Well, or, I think oh, we should start with the obvious. Or do we want to start with administrative too? Well, let's start with the obvious. The obvious. Well, the obvious, at least for me. FOs, baby. Oh, you want you want to start with FOs already? Well, wanna... because it's around my neck. Oh, not the one on my head, oh, which I didn't even tell them I was doing. So yeah, so there you go. I've started and finished something. There you go. So okay, so you want to start with FOs? Let's start with FOs, okay. babies. Okay. <laughs> so guess what, people? <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but bam, bam, <laughs> bam. I finished it finally. God, that only took what? I think I figured out fourteen months. <sighs> Yeah, from September. It's, but it's not like it was. It was. It was a pocketbook show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, I, and I friend. think when it got down to that little bit, mm -hmm. I felt like oh, my, it was never, ever going to get down to the. I don't know what was it. 
one eighth of an ounce or something. something. Yeah. Oops. But it's all done and Hope blocked it for me. I actually, yeah, I got it done last Wednesday because Thursday. Yeah, because you brought it over here on Thursday. Or no, Friday. No, you brought it over here on Friday. I brought it over here on Friday. Yeah. And I and she I blocked, blocked it for, for me. You and had it ready for dun, 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 dun. Vogue Knit Live. Apparently, Come on. <laughs> apparently the they changed the name. <laughs> oh, they did? It's Knitting Live by Vogue. They changed it. I don't know. I don't know when they changed really? it. Really? I, I was watching a, a podcast I the other day. I didn't even realize it. I know. I didn't either. Like, it's I, always I, been Vogue Everything Knitting Live. still had the V. No, no it, it's actually, yeah. I mean, that we all post that. Where did I put my phone down at? Oh, here it is. Oh. But, but when you actually log, like, because one of the podcasters said it was Vogue Knitting, or that it was Knitting Live by Vogue. And I was like, it is? Really? Because you can, of yeah. course, search for it, Vogue Knitting Live. And I felt fancy because it was Vogue. But look, it is. It's Knitting Live by oh. Vogue. Knitting Live by Vogue hmm. Knitting. I'm like, they oh, they already have the dates for the next oh, one. Oh, damn. Uh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Now talk about people yeah. who got their stuff squared yes, away. That's do. what I'm talking about. Yeah, wow. Go. It's already up. So I guess we could our calendar do the hotel. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, there we go. So we got our dates. Uh, put it in the yeah. calendar. January 16th through 19th. <laughs> You guys think I'm kidding. I'm seriously putting it in the calendar because <laughs> <laughs> Hope will say to me like two weeks before. Ooh. That'll be interesting. Uh oh. Wait, what's happening? That's when Ben goes back to college usually. Mm -hmm. Ben looking on a train. Be going back early. <laughs> yeah. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. <laughs> we might have to. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if we try to do some other stuff. I, look, we're staying up there this time. Oh, or maybe he just comes because he's an editor. Right. Maybe we just bring all this stuff up. That's a he lot of stuff. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if we'll see. Mm. Look, we're sitting here talking like we're just <laughs> talking. <laughs> okay, we'll stop that now. I know. <laughs> we may or may not have cut something. That's because we. No, well, I think it's yeah, all part we'll of the. It there. Yeah, it's all yeah. part of the old <laughs> So, so. But anyways, yes. So yes, and now I'm pretty stoked. What you do? You want to show them, or are you just leaving? Me oh, I'm gonna take okay. it off because I'm gonna have hot flash okay. anyway. Okay, and. What, what yarn is it? This is, um, I'll hold it up. This is something that Hope can't do because she doesn't use her knitting. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. She doesn't use her, uh, which we'll call it knitting notes. This. Now, what I should have did, I should have already had it turned to the page, but oh, that's this nice. is, that's pretty much the color, right? Right. There. Yeah. It now. Okay. So funny thing it had when Hope and I saw it, oh, we went to the New Jersey Sheep and Wool. Mm -hmm. In that bin, it had, so this is, the brand is Cozy Color Works. Mm -hmm. On the um, wrapper paper thing, it does say bright side, but the basket said salted caramel. And that's why I was so attracted yeah. to it. Bright side is the the pattern you're supposed to knit with it. I know, but on the thing though, it said bright oh, side. Really? I guess it's saying that to use it with that, with that pattern, pattern yeah. probably, yeah. But because it was the, definitely the yeah. die lot was F100, ah. it was 550 or you want to talk about like the everlasting gobstopper, like in Willy Wonka, that's what that was. Ah. But um, fingerling, wait, finger, fingerling, fingerling, those are potatoes, <laughs> <laughs> potato yarn, so finger, fingering, finger, weight. fingering, weight. oh my gosh, and um, I'm pretty sure fingerling potatoes, yeah, I think that's yeah, right. fingerling, oh, you're right, yep. <laughs> Yeah, so I finished it, yeah, uh, January 25th of this year. So, yeah. And the pattern was Knit One, Love One by Lori B. Wait, the pattern was, I thought the pattern was the bright side. Well, source, like her, uh, I'm sorry, her. Um, oh, that's what, her. That's her page that's or whatever. Page. Yeah, okay. sorry. Okay, that was yeah. what it was by. So, was, yeah. I thought it was the bright side. It was the, so, and just okay. so you guys know, I did not do a gauge. Yeah, or who, a gauge swatch. Who, who does on shawls? Unless oh. you're worried about running Having out enough. of yarn. Yeah. But this wasn't one that you had to worry yeah. about. That like I said, this just It actually running. told you to like just save 10 yards. 10 yards. Hand. Which so. I don't know. Like in my brain, like, okay, I know what 12 inches is and this, that, and it. 10 yards. So then I tried to like measure it. 
And I'm like, it's like a ridiculous amount of yarn left. <laughs> 10 yards. I'm like, <laughs> you can make like a, I don't know. Yeah, it would be nice if it said 10 yards or so many grams. Yeah, that, that would have made, that would have made. Because not everybody has a scale. So some people might right. have to actually. And I only measure. have a scale because I mean, she has a scale. People, right, most people have. True a, story. Most people have a yardstick. And also I think like, a, like that's about yeah. yards. And so then I try to one, do the. Two, the, three. I tried to know. do the thing you eat and snap yeah. back. You're scared you might decapitate yourself. The um, <laughs> what do you call tape it? measure. Tape measure. Yeah, I tried to do that. <laughs> Had all the animals freaking out when I snapped it back. So that's funny. The Kings County Fiber Fest. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so, sorry. We're doing this on my iPad again and a notification. You know, and, and I'm being um, nosy because this is gonna be like something, you know. Yeah, that's my that's my business email. So you might works. have something new later. <laughs> Who knows? You never know. Oh, should we do a little administrative and let them know where we're gonna be before oh, yeah. we go on with okay. So I guess I'd put this back on because I look kind of dusty right now. This is my trying to be cute, but I have to go back home and clean. Oh. Wait, what side? Whichever side. I'll try this side. Yeah, now. I do See? like. Oh, I like so this let's show this side too. Here, we'll do it like this. Yeah. I like this side too. Me too. No, I like both sides. I you're right. Now I just walk. I like yeah, both sides. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just whatever mood you're. What kind of mood today? I'm yeah. in this mood. Yeah. I this like side. both sides. I think it's good either way. This anyway. side, this side says yeah, ha, come at me, salted yeah. caramel. Uh -huh. This side says it's just so light. Have, yeah. Can I have oat milk, please? <laughs> I have okay. oat milk and light salty caramel. Okay, so real quick, let's just do a little administrative. So we have some shows coming up. I think last time we told you we have one coming mar March 2nd. Well, we have a show burr, burr, burr. coming up in East Greenwich, Rhode Island burr, burr, burr. at <laughs> the, Skein, <laughs> the Skein Yarn Shop. Yay! <laughs> so I wish I could do that big face thing that I do, the stickers. Yeah. And I, Make and if you don't, them. if you haven't watched the Skein Scoop, which is podcast from the Skein Yarn Shop with Lori and Justine, you should totally check them out too. Um, but we will be up there on February 17th and 18th for a trunk show. So hope to see you there if you're or in the area. My family likes to call it Frozen Pizza Night. Twice in the night. <laughs> and then two weeks after that, we will be in... <laughs> oh, I just realized which... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, two weeks after that, we will be at Knit Not, Not Natter, Natter in Pompton Plains, New Jersey. You can say that five times. Saturday, right. March 2nd. And then we already know one of the places that we will be for the Wool Walk at the end of April. We will be there and oh, ooh, I don't know the date. We'll let you know. It's the Wool Walk. I think it's the end of April. Yeah, she said the date, and I, I can't. Know. I have to look. I, I put it in my calendar. Hold on a second. I don't have it memorized. So, <laughs> one second. But we'll be at the um, the local yarn store in um, Orange, South Orange, South Orange, the twenty eighth of April, Sunday, the twenty eighth. We will be. I'm having a hot flash and I have my fan here. Oh, and if I try to get my fan, uh, it's behind my the iPad. We will have the same problem we had last time. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, last time that wasn't pretty. Yeah. And that she was, edited it out my belly. I edited it out <laughs> a lot because we knocked over the the video, the video the iPad and then we knocked it over again while we were trying to set it back up. It my was belly looks like a cake so, brownie and, and it take sinks. This off because I am roasting. <laughs> um, so, okay. So, yeah. So, those are... Some of the upcoming shows that we know about, we will probably have more before too long that we can tell you about later. Um, I just, okay, what I just took off is not a new, it's not an FO, it's just what I'm wearing. I'll just show it to you real quick so in case anybody's wondering what I've had on. This is the Exploration Station Shawl by Stephen West, and this was knit in my base that I no longer have, um, my um, Splendid Sock Base in the colors mossy mossy uh jack b little uh fields of gold and here i'll put this one up closer so you can actually see what it looks like and lichen that's lichen so and now i'm going to put this over here because then it's making me sweat and i'm going to take off the hat so <laughs> i have an fo okay Whew. i have an fo which I hadn't even shown you guys last time because I didn't know I was going to be knitting it because this was a test knit. Um, I love the colors. No, the light is really yeah. bad. Mm, 
Oh, that's nope. The light's really bad. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, that's good. Apparently, we can hold it back here, um, which you can't really see the stitch definition. Okay, I'll we'll hold it for the, stitch, for the yeah. stitches. So that's what the stitches look like. Show the top too. Oh yeah, the top's really cool. Oh wait, put it on so you can see the top. Oh here. Yeah. I don't want to put and it I'll back point on to it, wedding. just in case you don't know where the top is. Okay. <laughs> look at that. Isn't it here? Just a little bit more. That is bellissimo. <laughs> <You're up. laughs> okay, so this it is gorgeous. Is, yes, it's very pretty hat. I I love. I got lots of compliments, and the biggest compliment is from my seventeen year old who said it was very sharp, and he loved the combination of yarn and pattern. So we this, might have tropical weather tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this pattern is the Ajax hat, and it is not out yet. I was test knitting it. That's why I said I didn't even know I was going to be knitting it, but I was chosen for a test knit. So it's the Ajax hat by Stephen. I may or may not be pronouncing it right, but Berent. I don't know if that's right. Mm. I will show you guys in just a second. Um, but, oh, here we go. This is perfect. The doo -doo -doo, front page. Yeah. And well, that doesn't have his name. Well, it does have Berent designs, so I'll show you that. So Barrent Designs, that's his last name is Barrent. So, and then um, here is the Ajax hat. And it's going to have, you can see in that picture, mitts to match too, which I will be knitting soon because that'll be in my whips. Uh, <laughs> because as I said, that is like, oh. that's just the color exactly right there. Um, yeah, my 17-year-old loves this. So it looks like cables, sort of. Um, everybody is, who looks at it thinks that He will look very handsome in that. But yes. Yeah. 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 So, but it is not cables. It is twisted stitches that makes it. So that's all I'm going to tell you because it's, it's, sister. it's the pattern is not out, but the pattern will be. Oh, look at that. So that cool. I love that. That is really cool. Um, the pattern will be out uh, right now. Uh, sometime in February. Is, I will let you know when we when it gets closer to the date but yes very very nice so and i knit it up maybe it took a couple of days because it is it's um dk weight yarn so this is my um i'm really with it i think it's because i'm coming off <laughs> anyway this is my dk weight yarn in so that's splendid dk and the colorway is mossy um but it is knitted a pretty tight gauge so it was size two needles for the band and then size four needles i think for the the body of the hat so it's a pretty it's pretty tight gauge for dk if, if you ask me which i think really makes it like just look so so good yeah so it's really pretty. Anyway. i love how it shows the colors and stuff yeah so it, it took me a couple days to knit just because well i didn't have a lot of time to work on it but, but she yeah but looks yeah. Don't don't compare yourself because no. this one here. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, so I that's one finished object that I cast on and finished in the last two weeks. And I guess we're gonna go with finished objects. I have another finished. Oh, and one ball of it only took one ball. So I had about, I don't know, twelve or oh and I've got it together. It's okay. So so it took me one ball of yarn and I had about, I don't know, 12 or 13 grams left over. And I did add an inch to the length of the hat because I like my hat to come down over my ears when I'm out and about. I like my ears covered. Um, but you can wear the hat. I think I went in the picture I showed you, you can wear it that way. Or no, my hair's a mess. Um, or you can wear it, you know, slouchy like that. Um, so I did add an inch to this because I wanted to make sure it came over my ears well with the double. So you thickness. added an inch at the. I uh, just added an inch oh, up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just knit for. I mean, I guess you could just do an extra inch of ribbing, but I just added the inch in the, um, in the textured mm -hmm. stitch part. I love that. So yeah, so I did that one. And then um, I think I mentioned, I think we talked, oh yeah, we talked about it last time that the knitting posse, which we got to see the ladies of the knitting I posse. Love them. Yes, um, we got to meet them in person <laughs> yeah. at, at Vogue Knitting Live. They are absolutely love it, lovely. They are so freaking cool. So <laughs> they are our people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, but they're over there on the knitting posse, they are having a knit along with Thea Coleman. It's called 
cocktails and posse knit along, I think is what it is, is the, is if you want to, if you want to do the knit along and you want to use that hashtag on Instagram, that's what you do. So I already finished my, I think, I think the, (laughs) of course you already finished it. I think the knit along goes till the end of February. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think at least till the end of February. I feel like Maybe you you, you were you, she finished the hat at freaking um I did. I fit it I finished it at Vogue. Yeah. Yeah. This took me no time. Okay, so this is this is my DK yarn too. Um but this is she was making on, dinner and <laughs> this is this is knit on a size six needle. This was a really fast knit. So I yeah, oh here I'll put it on. So this, this was a really fast it knit. It was a really fast knit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's been knitting for 20 something years. So, yes, Ooh, it was 18. 18. Oh, I'm sorry. 18. 18 is a tomato, tomato, tomato caramel, caramel, caramel. So, anyway, okay. So, can you see the top <laughs> Look at of that. thing? Look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Are you going to put a pop so, on it? I don't know. I haven't decided. Maybe I haven't decided. Anyway, I mean, that one I think you can do a pop on. Yeah. The yeah. Other that one, 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 one no, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is the Prickly Pear by Thea Coleman. Um, I knit it in, uh, well, this is, that's like true color yeah. right there. So I knit it in Nevermore and Peachy Keen on my Splendid Sock base, not Splendid Sock, Splendid DK base. This is a DK weight yarn. So this is Splendid DK. So I'm going to bring it up close to see. It, this is the true colors of the yarn, but I'm going to bring it up here so you can see that there's speckles in the peachy keen and lighter yeah. tones and things like that. I feel like that light peach right there is like the color of the year, right? You know, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, so that's, this was the, uh, did I say it was a prickly pear? Yes. I think so. So okay. then which one am I doing then? You're doing the prickly pear too. The oh. prickly pear is two hat patterns. Yes. There's this one and then the one that Keisha is working on. So let on. me show you what I have. So, <laughs> did I say everything? Yeah, I said size six needle and what the yarn it was. So pretend that the rest of that's there. It's not. I am here. Yeah, but you're not doing this one. Yours. No, I'm doing the other one. Here, I'll bring up yeah. the pattern while you talk. So this is Ophelia. Ophelia. Am I saying that right? Ophelia. Mm-hmm. Ophelia. So I'm doing that. So that's going to be the main part of my hat, and then the color work part of it is going to be Keisha's golden. So although and it is coming along pretty fast for me. So. Um, yeah, and this is the one that, so I'm doing, doing that one. Yeah. 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 So just pretend. Oh, and I even got one of my, oops. One of my, what do you call it? Oh, I stitch should. markers. I had, oh, well, I didn't say, oh, let me tell you, say real quick. Um, I had quite a bit of yarn left over too. I think I had six, no, seven, wow. like 70 grams, 73 grams or something left over the peachy you know, key. Yeah, I know that that was right, what I right. was originally yeah. thinking about doing, but then I decided I like Nevermore. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I had about sixty-three, maybe, I don't know, it was sixty something, maybe sixty-one, sixty-two, somewhere around there of the Nevermore. So you definitely have enough yarn to do both hats, yeah. I would think. Um, you know what? Yeah, maybe yeah. I'm done with this or one. Even, or even, or even if you wanted to do this one again and just flip the colors, you could do that. Or if you want to do the other hat, you have yeah. you definitely have enough to do both hat patterns. So and this is also I just today I didn't bring project bags because this was like sitting in my knitting corner. So this was the bag that I or the um basket that I got last year, the year before last, the Christmas the oh, place yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So at, at the cool. procrastinators paradise yeah. at home. Isn't it cool? Hope has one too. Not homemade, homecoming. Yeah. Um, I don't see yours. Yours is in there. What? Oh yeah, mine's in your basket. So yeah, mine's in there. Mine's so. Do I have something? Oh, it's just my elbow. (laughs) Like I thought I I thought I had something on my elbow. (laughs) So, but I'm also working on the same hat. So maybe, actually, definitely, by the time the next um, time we uh, what do you call it? Do this film podcast. Oh my oh, God. I don't know. What if, you know, I, I it feel seems like, like everybody still, calls things different. Like, yeah. are we really podcasting? Is that like, because really to me, a podcast thing? is like on Apple. Yeah. Are we vlogging? What are we doing? Who knows? Yeah. This is our channel, our YouTube channel. I we make are, it seem like a TV show. Yeah. Because I tell people, I'm like, I can't our... do anything that day. I'm filming. <laughs> if you only have like, you're filming? Yes. Do you know? Hope and I have a show. Oh my God, that's yeah. so cool. Oh. Of course it's cool. It's Hope and I. <laughs> I mean, seriously? <laughs> So I feel all fancy and, you know, we'll talk about this another time, but I always had these lists of things like for the year, like I, I think I started it in my mid 
early 40s. And it's like now it's 54 things to do before I turn 55. And one of them was to have a talk show or be on a talk show. Oh. Like when Wendy Williams was on, uh, she used to every once in a while have a, spe- like she would have a special, um, you would have to try out to be her co-host. Okay. You know, I tried twice, right? Did you really? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I tried twice. And then I thought, so that was always my that. thing. Yeah. That so, <laughs> but oh, the God. universe, <laughs> here it is. And we're cooler and nicer than Wendy. I mean, like, Wendy is her <laughs> own thing, but how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but, we, but we mostly talk about yarny things. Yes. So there's Yes. That. Did you want to talk, talk about your sock that you... No, because it's it's a half finished. Audio. Yeah, because I'm working on the other one. Yeah. So you saw this last time, but notice. <laughs> oh, I guess it's easier to see it not on the sock blocker. Okay, so yeah. here I'll pull it back off. Did we have? Wait, I gotta find. It, there's gotta be a poor picture of when I jacked it up. So hope. Well, we had it on on the video. I showed it, but we're all squared away. We used the, I showed uh, Keisha how to yes. fix that up. And what I was doing was not it. No, yeah. We, I, show, uh, I showed her the, the nitty. <laughs> oh, I had it up on there. The, well, I talked about it before. And somebody else also said, I can't remember. I think they said Pearl Soho has a really good Kitchener stitch yeah. um, tutorial as well. But I love the nitty one because I'll show you it. Um. This is why I love it because it tells you how to do the the setup before you get started. It has a little like has some you know. Well, you can't see how bad it stuff. is in this picture, but and then it shows you how to do every every step. It shows has a picture, yeah, and it shows you exactly what to do, and it tells you. So it has a picture, and it tells you exactly what you're doing. So it's really great. Um, yeah, and also the I'm pretty sure it was this that said that. What you have to keep saying to yourself is knit pearl pearl knit knit pearl pearl knit. And I wasn't doing that. Knit. <laughs> Definitely wasn't doing that. It was and like squirrel 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 <laughs> squirrel squirrel. Yeah, that's what that was. So, but all set. So, yeah. You, and then I started on. Go, yeah, go ahead and start with your whips. So I started on the other sock. So this right now, for right now, because Hope is doing your sock, but yeah. The gym, actually anywhere, but mostly at the gym, I'm, um, what do you call it, starting the other sock. So hopefully this will be soon, done soon too. Um, I did try this originally on, can't find, oh, here it is, on these uh, Lucifer needles. <laughs> Notice they're well, shaped like the devil. You're going to still try. I am going to try. So I am going to try. I feel like, because, okay. um, yeah, try okay, after well, you pass the ribbing. Well, t- say what, what yarn you're using. Oh, um, well, then. Wool and Zanosh. Wool and I want to say wool and Nosh. <laughs> wool and Zanosh is what I'm using. And it's pump, fancy, fancy schmancy pumpkin. So I'm going to say, and if you notice, now Hope will sit here and she will read whatever magical things she does with yarn balls to make the everything match. I do not care. <laughs> so obviously you can tell that this sock is going to be different than this one. So oh, that's okay. They're actually going to be pretty close, though. Yeah, I, it's just like you had a little bit of white at the top, but who yeah. cares? I mean, <laughs> Look, who, was like, who cares? Like, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm just saying they're obviously <laughs> based. And like, then she's going to say to me, "You know, just let me, let me, no, let me I'm take not. them, <laughs> and I'm just going to fix it. So it's, I'll fix it. It's fine. But anyway, so Look, she can't so, take her eyes so off. Say of why you're going to try this. Who who told you to try doing the ribbing on the, on the <laughs> my homies <laughs> they said to give it a try so kevin actually right yeah kevin said give the try doing the um the magic did, loop for the ribbing and then switch yeah kevin to the- kevin is very convincing with the thing because he's very like you know you need to try like very like <laughs> stern like try it this <laughs> way stern. try it this way but it's like in a stern loving way <laughs> him and ray together and we'll get to that in a minute oh they'll have you do some things <laughs> <laughs> they'll have you do some things good things so. though <laughs> i love that thing just oh my god i love you guys <laughs> oh I'm again. Yes. yes you are you're gonna be out the door <laughs> 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 we 
we we record in my yarn studio. Right. You know, I guess we should talk about some. So we record in my yarn studio. My yarn studio happens to be my sun porch, and my sun porch I think was a addition later on, and I think it was originally like a porch porch, and it has a slate. Slant, slant to it because i think you know water actually it's like hey at one time oh. it was open to the elements so they have it so that you know the water will flow off of course it means also that sometimes keisha and i roll <laughs> <Yeah. inside. laughs> so, see you roll so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i think there's been a few times where i'm like we need to switch back this way so yeah oh my gosh yeah. but <clears throat> if you do watch <clears throat> needles at the ready Ray, and if you loves, don't, you should. Yes, if you don't, exactly. But Ray loves his nine-inch circular, so yeah. we both thought we would give him a try. But and why I had a pair, I have no idea. So far, because Hope said she was going to try it, yeah. or she was going to get that. And I'm like, wait a minute, I have those. We just thought, well, especially since we're like a bird. we're knitting our socks while we do the treadmill. Yeah, and so we thought it might be. Wee. But so far, I'm giving. I'm still. I'm still hanging in there, but yeah. we will see. I don't know. I so far. Not convinced, but maybe we'll see. I'll show you my sock. And, or do, do you want me to show, or do you want to do all of yours and then me? Because I could show my sock since we're talking about that. Yeah, let's okay. just go back and work. Yeah, let's do that. So I have my gym sock. That sounds funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is my uh, sock that I do mostly on the treadmill. And you can see I'm using nine inch circulars, their size, which Keisha's are too. We both do our socks on size um, ones, which is a 2.25. A millimeter needle and just um yeah, i need, need to remember to say that because not everybody is u.s and so right i don't all go with the u.s sizes but anyway i've got to i'll be better about that so i am knitting um scrumptious pearl the color is christmas berries and you can see i just put in waist yarn for my heel and so yeah so i've i'm halfway done the sock already so it's moving along um man that's really bright oh that's more mm. yeah i guess that's well that's still brighter than what it is in real life but that's okay um yeah so that's my oh and it's uh technically well keisha's is definitely the smooth operator sauce Sweet. by susan b anderson mine is sort of that i usually just do whatever i want because I've knit so many pairs of socks. <laughs> I just throw in, I just do a tube, put in some waist yarn, and then, uh, yeah, put on whichever heel and toe I feel like putting on later on. Hey, so. shoulders, knees. <laughs> oh, my God. So, that's that. Okay. Oh, and that's an 80-20 merino nylon. God, you're one day I'm going to be like that. You're like 80-20. And, and Keisha's is a 90-10 Targi nylon. Which she said. <laughs> And like our like, I love them. Like I get so giddy and excited when I talk about them. <laughs> so you know, Ray loves kits, and I we I think we talked about this last time. The emotional. No, story. you didn't. You just said that something was. Oh, on its I way. alluded. But well, then you did your. If you follow us on Instagram, yeah. you will have already seen this. Yeah, because Keisha did a reel about it. Yes. Um. But and yeah. because, oh, also, eyebrows, my husband loves Kevin and Ray also. <laughs> so he asked me, like, the next time they come on, he wants to watch them. And I'm like, I'm really hoping <laughs> he doesn't get more ideas because I have to let him know that my level of knitting is not where they're at. So because I know they did that bourbon one. Well, and I'm not surprised that he loves it because they fo try to focus on like a lot of yeah, patterns but that's that are giving, great for men and whatnot. Yeah, giving eyebrows ideas and <laughs> he's not married to that yet. So, I, I mean, we're married, but <laughs> <laughs> going on 30 years. But um, I, my level isn't where theirs is at. So, but I can see Rob sitting there like taking notes like, okay, all right. But he also enjoys Kevin and Ray because that's why... I have this because <laughs> he's like, well, I want an emotional chicken. And for the longest, I thought the man was kidding. I really thought he was joking. You just called it an emotional chicken. Oh, no. <laughs> Not emotional. An emotional support. I love that support. Is the <laughs> now that just changed it completely. I know. <laughs> no, it's an emotional support chicken. And, um, <laughs> and long story short, um, we were on um, vacation and I was watching Kevin and Ray 
And um, they were talking about, like, you know, why they were sick and they, you know, they got these kids and they both did them. And my husband, like, lit up like a Christmas tree and he was, I want an emotional support chicken. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then her and I are in a conversation. He's still on this. He's still on it. He's looking for it. He manages to find the um, the website. Picked out, like, um, he picked out Prince in the Revolution Hen. Which is kind of cool. He's also a drummer. That, yeah. that I mean, that's not his main job, but so anyways, he yeah you know, likes bands. But anyways, um, I'm sure if you watch Kevin and Ray, you already know what's in here. It comes with the instructions at all. It also had or pattern. I shouldn't say instructions. I guess instructions too, right? Yeah, it, it came with the whole thing, right? Yeah, with it everything with, except for the needle. It didn't come except with for the needle. needle and not with the stuffing. So, but everything oh, it else doesn't come with the stuffing, come with the stuffing either. That. Yeah, oh, I so. guess it wouldn't fit in there. Yeah. yeah. How would you get that stuffing? <laughs> It could be air packed yeah. or air locked or yeah, whatever. The, like, but oh, vacuum sealed. But, yeah. Um. So what was I gonna say? But anyways, yeah. So, um, it's so far knock on wood easy. I mean, I figured it out so far. This is how far I've gotten. So I guess I've gotten the back part of the chicken. So, um, and I will say this: my husband loves pillow. He likes to hold things across. Like it is like it is a I guess a security thing for him. He likes having that. He's you know oh you know you were it feels a lot like this oh yeah it does yeah. oh can so, you count these yeah. real quick i post a bind off 10 oh yeah okay count. while i'm talking um because <laughs> <laughs> i lost track <laughs> oh my god but and it has like that wrap and turn thingy or whatever but it's not the total wrap and turn thingy where you have to pick up you got 10 you're good. Where you have to pick up stitches, so I was able to figure it out. Now Ray said he had it done in two days. I'm like, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> we lucky he's done it. Did two you weeks. show what you got so far? Oh yeah, oh, I did. did you yeah. want me to show? Yeah. Okay, so I'll this show. is what I have, and it's like really cool colors. Mm -hmm. So oh, the lights bad. I, okay. Eyebrows is really excited about it. So yeah, I, I think it's really cool. it's really cool. Okay, you can see. But I can. I love how it's got like little blips. Yeah. of like this is really going to oh be. God, cool. I know, hot. Ugh. This is but, so cool. Oh, I'm not going to drop your stitch. Oops, there we go. But that is so they are. cute. They are just, I, can I tell you again, I just, I ooh, almost said <laughs> forking. Um, <laughs> I love them. Oh my gosh. I just, <laughs> they're awesome. Yeah, and really that's what I love about the nitty community because everybody's so freaking cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And they are just awesome. Like I said, they were the first people that we saw. When we got there, yeah, to vote in it. Well, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. That but anyways, after we finish with our, so that was that. Our, what else? I had a sock. I whips. showed you guys the hat. That's, yeah. Well, here um, I'll do one, and then you got to do yeah. Oh, but that's all I bought with me because I'm trying to be really. And then and you have a future project, which we'll talk. about Oh, well, I thought we talked about that yeah. in a minute. Yeah, we'll talk about our future projects later. Okay, in so I have been working Ooh. on. So I'm a little behind again because I did these hats. So. Um, and I really wanted to get done with the Ajax hat before um, Vogue Nanny Live because I wanted to wear it at Vogue Nanny Live. So, um, so I'm one square behind on the blanket, but I am, well, actually, no, I'm not even. I'm half a square behind on, the, ooh, you did it. Did it like Jenga. <laughs> so I'm half ooh. a square behind on the blanket. So I still need to get, so I need to get full two full squares done this week to be back on track. So. But I'm making progress. I can see. So That'll I now so have two, wow. two of the big squares, and this is the third big square I'm working on. So um, by the end, be, by the end of this week, I should have this oh. full square done, and then I only have nine more to go. Ooh, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, so I only have nine more to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so, yeah, so that's one of my whips that I worked on. So, those are two. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then uh, the socks, I'm still working on the, oh. um, oops, oopsie. I'm still working on the Polar Arc socks, which I made a mistake because... I got ahead of myself and wasn't <laughs> following the, you know, it's terrible because I got, I put the pattern on Knit Companion and I highlighted the rows so that I would make sure that I was following it because there's definitely some. Can you talk about Knit Companion? Because I heard you talk about, you were talking about the Hutton Car and I had no idea what that oh, is. Oh, yeah. oh, it's an app. Okay. So Knit Companion is an app. Hold on a second. Okay. So it's an app. Um. And I think there is a, the, I have the free version. Mm -hmm. I think there's also a, pay, like, if you want to open up more stuff, 
-hmm. There's like options to open up more stuff if like you can pay for more stuff. Mm -hmm. But I can't show you this because it's a pay for pattern that I'm using right now. Mm -hmm. But I'll just show. (laughs) No, (laughs) somebody will take a picture of it and then. I can't show you it because I'm. I mean, if I was using a non pay for pattern, then I would show Mm -hmm. it to you. But um, you can put your pattern in there, and you can actually so um. So you, okay. You can actually highlight r- the oh. row that you're on and right. it also has a, a row counter and all of that. So Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, so it's really handy for uh patterns that have a lot of instructions mm-hmm. um or charts that you want to be able to keep track of. So um so that's really nice and this one does have a um when you do so I think I talked about this before. Um you start off their toe up, so you start off um I think it's Judy's magic cast on and then you do your increases and then you just knit for so many inches it depends on your your foot size um you knit for so many inches and then you get started on this section here which is your increasing for like your instep and then going into your heel um and all of that is is written out so it's helpful to keep Mm -hmm. you know to keep track of which row you're on and to actually read the instructions, that <laughs> is even more helpful. <laughs> She's like, and read the instructions. <laughs> because I guess I was like, oh, it's just... Because at, at one point, it was like, do this row, do this row, do this row, do this row. And mm-hmm. it was pretty much just going back and forth between the two. And it did, it changed like the number of stitches, but it was pretty much doing the same thing. But then it changed... Uh- <laughs> and I just kept doing what I had been doing instead of looking <laughs> at the instructions. So I had to pull it's, out. I didn't pull. It wasn't that much. It was maybe maybe two rounds. It wasn't a big deal. It wasn't that much. No, it wasn't that much. It was just like two rounds that I had to pull back. So I've almost worked all of it back in. You can see it. There's a little, you know, it's a little kinky there that I'm working back in. But um, yeah, so it's not a big deal. It was just... That was just on. That was all me. That was completely me. Read your pattern. <laughs> Do not assume you know what is happening. You okay? That I just messed up. Oh, well, well, we can fix it up. I'm sure. I'm supposed to have eleven on here. Oh, one, two. Oh, so maybe four, I was wrong. Five, maybe six, you did. Seven, eight, nine, counted. ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, uh, extra one. Then, uh, then I missed. So I have to go back. Yeah, just go back and then. All right, and then apparently cast off one more. Sorry. <laughs> Damn it, Hope. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so the so this is the Polar Arc pattern by Jenny Stamen. Um, I'll show you the pattern. Um, it is a really cool pattern for using with uh, self-striping yarn or um, uh, gradient yarn. Here, I'll show you. Oh, hold on. I can show you the cover of the pattern without showing you the actual pattern. There we go. So that's Polar Art wow. by Jenny Stamen. Uh, Jenny is the Jenny of Jenny Surprisingly um, Stretchy Bind Off. So I guess you can use that at the top of the sock if you need a nice stretchy bind off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. So this is only like my third ever pair of toe-up socks, but I wanted to use every last bit of my... And she does have the pattern for toe-up and also top-down. So if you are you know absolutely do not want to do toe up and you would prefer top down she has that pattern um (laughs) but i wanted to use every last little bit of my gradient so um so i decided to do toe up and that way i can just knit until i run out of yarn so nice fun that's so pretty i love that color it is pretty so it started i don't know if you can yeah you can see um that it started so it started off with this like um taupey uh, gray brown type of color and then it started it started to gradiate and you can see some of the acidy greens up here that it's starting yeah. to to change into so I really it's a really neat like it's a really neat pattern it's really enjoyable I'm having fun with it but like I said probably read your pattern <laughs> <laughs> it's helpful well, surprisingly it's something I've so. actually been doing I'm really surprised at myself I'll start a pro- I'll start a, a project and <laughs> and I'm reading it and you know what I mean like yeah. for the first time and I'll get to something like I don't know how to do that but now I'll read the whole thing and I'm like I don't know how to do any of it huh? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. I'm not going to try to work on that while I talk to you guys because, like I said, I need to look at my pattern while I do that. Do I'm going to put that away right now before I mess that up. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, I was working on that. And then... So I did the two hats and I said my middle son said that it was a really sharp looking pattern and yarn combination. Well, he decided that he needed a new winter jacket, which he did. Um, so the other day we went out and we got him a black wool pea coat and he decided that he needed He'll look very model-ish. Yeah, he needed a, He'll look like a model hat and a pair, a pair of mitts to go with it. So he picked out some I guess that's what happens when your mom dyes yarn. Nice. Um, he went and looked at my... It, well, actually, he went through all of my um, little swatches. So I have swatches of all my colors. <laughs> um, he went through them, through the swatches and decided that he wanted a hat and a pair of mitts. So I have to... That, that will be getting cast on after I finish this. But he wanted a hat and mitts out of my color hazy oh. shade. Oh. I just wanted to touch oh. you. Oh. <laughs> You're just... Oh. <laughs> this is like going your own over here. <laughs> it's just funny. Anyway. <laughs> I feel like every color feels different. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. So, so this Easy. is... feels like Casey. Which this is not... Uh, it's not showing. It's not no. showing anything that oh, looks like a person. Uh, no. Uh, no. In person, it looks really... Like, you can see, like, yeah. little it's pops like of color in it. and there's little yeah. flecks. I mean, it has a gray tone to it, but it also is, like, a creamy... It's, like, a creamy gray, I guess you yeah. would say. And it's got little flecks of colors, which... I don't know if you can see those at all. Well, you can see maybe mm, a little, little bit. Fleck. Anyway, it's got little flecks of colors. But not the way you can see it in person. Yeah. It's hard. It's not really doing super well in there but anyway this is hazy shade of winter and that's what so i'm making that'll look really good on his complexion too yeah. oh look oh yeah at the um which we'll call it yeah. there's a stitch marker why can i ever why can i why am i not thinking i don't know there we go oh there we go um oh it's got a glare okay there we go um so i'm making another ajax hat um apparently so <laughs> which is fine um i enjoyed knitting it the first time now i did do something different than what the pattern called for um so i did do a um i did a, an italian tubular cast on for it so i mean that's all i just i like the way that the italian i think you can see that really nicely oh wow i like the way the italian tubular cast on looks so i did that for for the green hat yeah, as well i do as like how that one. looks yeah compared to yeah huh i did that for this one too which is not the pattern did not call for the italian they call for a cable yeah it Ugh. called for a cable cast on but i did the italian tubular cast on for this hat as well i just like that look on a hat yeah i don't know i mean it's you know it's a preference thing you can do whatever you want on your for your cast on for a hat <laughs> as long as it's stretchy enough and it's not going to suck the life out of your head uh, otherwise, <laughs> what? Because <laughs> I've known that feeling before. You put on a hat, and you're like, I can't, I can't think. Yeah, so you take you off your hat. It's like, right. <laughs> the bottom part of your face is like beat red, and the top part's blue. <laughs> yeah. Um, so as long as you're not doing that to yourself, I've experienced that a lot because I got a big behind head. So, <laughs> so yeah. So so that's yeah. Oh, and I did go. So when I did the. On the green hat, I did not go down a needle size, but then I don't know where I saw if it was, I don't know. I don't know if, if it was on one of the instructions for how to do a tubular or if it was a podcast. Totally tubular. It could have been Kevin and Ray for all I know. For sure. Or, totally. or it might have been Michael over, because I know he was, oh no, he was doing an Italian bind off. On that that uh, Michael, did you yeah? Did you him. see did you did you see his latest episode with Dan? no? Because he is oh, now yeah, also someone it. else that eyebrows wants to oh, watch with me. Oh. Because he just made a he likes the music. Really cute gray vest for a friend, and he yeah. and that's why because he said he did the Italian tubular bind off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I don't know where I heard it, but anyway, I heard to go down a needle size when you do it because hey, apparently man. that is a like a loose a really loose um cast on so i went down a needle and it did i feel like it made it really nice yeah so really nice i feel like the green's got a little bit of a bump to it where i didn't go down kind of got a little bit of a bump but i mean it's not wait where's one of the bump i don't like, get it 
See, it kind of looks like it's not oh, super oh, oh. flat. Okay. Like this side's super flat, but this kind of like bumps out a little bit. So I don't know if that. Anyway, it's still good. It's very good. I like the hat. It's really nice. It's cozy, and I love the way. I love the way it kind of gives you like, which I don't know. Why I'm talking about this now, but it kind of looks like leaves. I like. Yeah, that. it does. Like look the leaves. green. I think it was like a yep. really good. That was a good, good color combo. choice. <laughs> yeah. So so now I'm working on another one. In hazy shade of winter um it's a hazy shade. once again it. <laughs> it's size two which size us2 which i think is a 2.75 um, millimeter needle i'm using my chow gu interchangeables um 16 inch cord so really it's just they're really nice i did do my when they got too small i switched to double pointed needles to finish off um I don't know. Sometimes I do magic loop and sometimes I do double pointed. I did get a bunch of new double pointed last year when Nitpicks was having a sale. Um, and I do kind of like wooden double pointed needles when I'm doing a bind off because you get to that point where you only have like two or three stitches per needle. And I feel like the wood is a little grippier, so they're less likely to slip out on you. So I do like that. So I, I did do my bind offs that way. Um, and she just taught me how to use double pointed needles for the end of the socks. Yeah. Which it was a lot easier. Yeah. I do like when I get to the toe of my sock, I usually will transfer my, unless I'm, unless I'm finishing it off out and about and I don't have my double pointed with me. Um, I usually will transfer my, my toe stitches over to double pointed because they're just easier. You have less chance of it. Like slipping out on you you can really hold them nice especially and when you're doing cable cast-ons which to me oh with these it's oh, tough. oh yeah with the slippy needles yeah but, but yeah but the nice thing with the wooden ones is like i said they're a little bit more grippy so they're less likely to slip out on you when you're in the middle of trying to do your kitchener stitch but you don't want to lose your stitches when you're trying to kitchener stitch your toe closed um oh so that's all of my is that all my that's all my whips. I've got Let four right whip. now, I think. So so do we want to talk about our future knitting? Yes. Okay, so we're we talked about maybe doing a knit along. And you guys are uh, we what do you guys think? Oh no, do I didn't talk about go, like yeah. I said, I did talk about this, but yeah. Kevin and Ray, they're doing a knit along. Oh with yeah, this too. they're doing a kit knit along. About it. Uh yeah, kit knit along. Yeah, it's a like it's this, but if you it's any kit, yeah, it's and, any but kit. You have to it have has started, to be a kit, and you have to start it like, like I guess when it's going they their on last right one now. right now to the end of March. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have this knit along done. This knit along is going into year two, but this one will be finished at the end of March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if you if you have a kit and yeah. you want to join in the, with the guys, uh, go check out Needles at the Ready. They're doing a, a kit knit along. Um, I might even, I actually, I'll show in my Vogue Knitting Live purchases. I actually have something, though I don't know if it counts because I'm not probably going to use the pattern that came with the kit. Oh. <laughs> then it probably it doesn't count. count. Probably. Oh, well, it is okay. Uh, anyway, but we talked about doing a knit along for our not technically a Rhinebeck sweater, more of a Rhinebeck weekend sweater, something yeah. that we're going to wear at some point um, during that Rhinebeck weekend. Um, and we, we last year when we did, when we vended at a show mm -mm. during that weekend, Name that we shall not mention. No. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we, we were, we wore matching sweaters. So we both did love notes. Keisha did a short sleeve version and I did the way that the pattern uh, the like three quarter length uh, sleeve version, and we used the same yarn. Um, yeah, and we we really enjoyed having our little. It was so sweater weather. Yeah, in my sweater weather colorway. So we thought that we would do something like that again, um, just for that made it worse for fun. So I don't know how you guys want to do it. If you like the pattern that we chose, which I'm not sure that it's for everybody. Yeah, but. There, I do know there's a lot. It's a free pattern, which makes it really nice because you can go check it out and see if you're interested in doing it. Also, there is a ton of, um, there's a ton, I, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few projects. And I know that quite a few people have done it not the way that it 
is uh, the yeah I can talk it's okay uh, um but it's uh a lot of people have done it in ways other than the way it was designed to be done so you don't have to do it the way that you know you can do it however you want um but the pattern is called le pouf and le pouf and we're going to knit it up now i'll show you this is what it looks like the way that the it was designed to be and what it is is it's fingering weight held together and so that's how you make that gradient so you're actually alternating like you hold two pieces of the first color and then you switch to a piece of the first color and a piece of the second color and then two pieces of the second color and and uh, so i'll be moving so it forth. with hope just so, you know <laughs> and so on and so transition. forth to um to get that to help with that gradient so you don't have to necessarily get yarns that are perfect gradients because you will get that gradient because of the fact that you're holding two pieces together um which is nice it's a great way to use up. Oh, and here's another version of it. It's a great way to use up um, a lot of those um, one skein uh, fingering weight yarns that a lot of us gather from going to festivals and trunk shows. Mm -hmm. So it's just a great way to use those up. So um, they also have, and I was thinking that we could one of two things either there's two different lapoofs there's the cardigan and there is also a regular sweater that's not a cardigan or the other option was maybe we just do a let's be honest a women of particular of a particular age knit along which means knit a cardigan <laughs> <laughs> and of course you don't have to be a woman of a particular age or a woman at all you could be a man you could be whatever <laughs> um but Maybe we do a cardigans because let's be honest, Keisha and I wear cardigans because you can take them they're off. so much easier to take off. Yeah. And if anybody was with me or saw me at Vogue Nanny Live, you saw me. She, you were going through it though. I mean, like surprisingly <laughs> I that know. day, I only, it was ridiculous. I think I had like one, no, mine hit me coming home in the car. I was having back to back. Yeah. Flash. This one it here, was she ridiculous. was like, it was, I looked behind and she was down to her tank top. I didn't even. I had, so I started <laughs> off with layered a shawl, a sweater, a tank top. And then when I would start to get too hot, I would take the shawl off. And if that wasn't enough, then the hat came off. And if that wasn't enough, the sweater came off. So yeah. I look behind me, girl had whatever. on a tank top. Yeah. I was like, wait, what the? <laughs> In January. In January. Ridiculous. And it wasn't exactly. And it wasn't even hot. I mean, it, yeah, was, it they, was comfortable in there. It really wasn't it was, bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, so, yeah. So, mm. it is what it is. But anyway, that's. Ooh, the sun is. We're getting weird sun now. Um, so, that's that's what I was thinking. Maybe, maybe we just do. If oh. you. So, if you want to knit along with us and you want to do the pattern that we're doing. That's great. Love Lippin. that. If you would rather do a. a pattern of a cardigan of your choice so either i guess my feeling is if you want to do either the lapoof sweaters or if you want to do a cardigan of your choice that's yeah that sounds good so that's yeah. what so and then it, it's going to be a long knit along yes because because i'm in the mix <laughs> well and not just that like we said this is so that we can wear it during ryan beck weekend yeah. so i was thinking like a week some you have until Rhinebeck weekend. Yeah. Which is like, I don't I'll know. I'll probably be sure. knitting right up to that. I'll look, I'll look and, and see what that, you know what you have. We'll, we'll keep it open all the way until we get back from Rhinebeck. That way we're not having to deal with closing it out while we're in the middle of going to Rhinebeck. Yeah. So, so it'll go right through. Uh, we'll, we'll close the, um, we'll close the, the, I've got this. We'll close the knit along right like the Sunday or Monday. Uh, I'll we'll let you know. Obviously, yeah. we have plenty of time to let you know. Um, so, and we'll just do what do we want to? We'll what do we want the hashtag to be? We need to come up with a hashtag. Apparently, I didn't think about that. Uh, we'll let you know next time. Yeah, yeah. Or you know what? We'll put it down in the description the down below the video. Um, and then we'll we'll tell you next time too. So, but it'll be down in the description. Which if we oh, we haven't even mentioned that, all of whatever we talk about patterns, yarn, um, 
other I podcasts, so. uh, any of that stuff. We put it down in the description. And I think in the last video, I showed you how to get to that. It's like the little three dots, yeah. af, you know, after like our title. Um, so, yeah. So I think that's, that's what we'll do for mm -hmm. our knit along. Uh, like I said, the, we obviously know that the Lapoof is probably not for everybody. But the other thing is, is well, I was going to tell you, um, so you can do it two pieces of fingering weight held to get double, which essentially makes like a DK, DK worsted um, weight yarn-ish. Um, or you can just use DK weight yarn. You can do it solid. You can do it striped. You can do whatever you really want to do. In a plane, There's, on a train. Exactly. Here's somebody in who is knitting it in a, so in a solid. Um, hmm. What? Oh, I mean, I just that's, like the, yeah, yeah I like the color. And that's right? hard to see. Yeah. It's dark, but, oh, here's another person who did it, and I don't know. It looks like they might have had, like, a, like, they used the same color, but yeah. it looks like it's a speckle all over type thing. Yeah. They might have even held it with, like, a fluffy yarn or something. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, about. like a yarn that has the... Like the mohair or something. Yeah. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Oh, oh, and here's another one where they did the whole body of it in one color and then they did... Oh, the um, border in a different the, color. That's cute. In a different color. So yeah, so there's lots of options. If you go on Ravelry and look at the project pages, you can get... Lo oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that. Nice oh, I like that too. Yeah, so um, lots of options. Uh, so just go on Ravelry and, and check it out and see if there's anything that, you know you like but that leads into our future project do you want to show your the yarn you picked for your sure. for my le pouf so <sighs> what the other basket that's sitting in my knitting corner <laughs> <laughs> so i already caked mine but i get I originally bought it for another pro uh, project that hope and i were going to do is going to be we were talking about it but then we realized we really need to get started on this sweater yeah because so um of course <laughs> take a gander whose yarn it is um but uh so i'm gonna start off with right this one first yeah, mm -hmm. sea spray sea spray here and, i'll hold them up okay well i'll yeah yeah it's close it's not too bad anyway you can always look over on my website if you want to see what the colors truly look like um might even put some pictures oh that's kind of i don't know anyway this is sea spray it's got little yeah oh there you go Little flecks of blues and greens, and maybe some browns in there. And then this one is. And then we've got um, snowed in. And this then... this is all on my um, Hope's favorite base, which is an eighty ten ten extra fine merino uh, cashmere nylon. So and, and it's a four ply fingering weight. This was next, right? Yep, that's the next one. Keisha fifty four. Yeah, this is a one of a kind color that is. For one of a kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, oh my God, why am I brain farting with all I can't these? Um, this how one I is. Dyed that anymore. <laughs> um, oh. Which one is this? That is Kailua. Kailua. Oh, that is not, not the color. That's not it. That is not mm, the color. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll try to get a picture and put it in there. Yeah. This is not it. Not the color at all. And then wow, this that one is, is. That really looks different on there. Which that's Deborah Swell. Deborah Swell. So, mm, no, nope, nope, oh no, that's so that's gonna be mine. I'll try to I'll try to put in a picture so you can see what these the, what some of the colors look like if I remember to do that. Oh, oh, we didn't say we're now podcasting on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. So, and our videos usually come out on Fridays. That's why I said if I have time, I'll put in pictures. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, so, so those are mine. That's like like the perfect bowl i know to go with your yep. yarn that's pretty okay so that's keisha's la poof poop um i need y'all to then, say prayers to the knitting gods that have this time uh, and then oh i have where did i put it i think you just had it huh that's interesting I it was the skeins right yeah but i also had the, oh there they are oh my god i had the swatches out to show we need a bigger okay. table up here because <laughs> you can only see one of these it? days we ought to take like either before or after actually after probably because it's even bi a bigger mess by the time <laughs> we're done talking we should take a picture and post it on instagram of yeah. what our what it looks like mess people are just like, like oh my god you don't know it's not <laughs> yeah so so anyway this is i think 
Now, I've gone back and forth and back and forth about what colors I'm going to use for this thing. Good but that. I think that this is going to be my Lapoof. I, I like think. that. So this is Spring Petals. This is Pale September. This is Peachy Keen, Cobblestones, and Nevermore. I think that's going to be my... Yeah, I like that. I'm pretty sure that's going to be... I, I think that this is what I've decided on. After doing this hat, I was like, oh, I really want to put Peachy Keen in yeah, this water. Yeah, I really love Peachy Keen. So I think that is going to be my my thing. So here they are. In so it's the same base as Keisha's using. I'm using my Hope's Favorite. Um, you can use... I think the pattern is a... I think it's a hedgehog pattern, and I think they use like... The singles or something from mm -hmm. Hedgehog. I don't remember. I'd have to look. Oh, at that's it. why Hedgehog was familiar to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So any fingering weight is probably pretty good. Um, <clears throat> like, and you, and you know, if you wanted to get some that. of my yarn, you don't have to get the the cashmere. If you don't want to, you can always get my JoJo's favorite, whichever way Gosh. you want to go. Look um, at that. But actually, yeah. that right there, the colors kind of look almost to the. Let's see. Yeah. yeah so. I think that's it. Yeah, so I think that's mine. So, like I said, this is this is uh, spring petals, mm -hmm. and then we've got pale September. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Now this is um, they're not coming out exactly right. This yeah. is a little orangier in real life than yeah. it's showing up warmer. up there. <sighs> like me, warmer. Uh, I have another hot flush. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's that's pretty. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's that pretty one. good. So that's Peachy Keen. We got cobbles, Cobblestones is pretty yeah, much. Right I agree. On the money. That's Cobblestones. And that Nevermore is pretty good, too. And yeah. then that's Nevermore. Oh, my gosh. Where's the fan? Oh, there. Okay. Um, so, whoo, there goes my hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's my La Pouf. My Lapoof plan. <laughs> so we will probably be casting those on. Oh, so so the knit along starts now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, well, <laughs> such a wait. Hold on. Like, <laughs> so yeah. Uh -huh. So if you want to join us, we will have. Um, so we don't do. We don't do um, Ravelry because we don't, we don't have a Ravelry group. But what we will do is we'll have a hashtag on Instagram. And if you're not on Instagram, if you want, down below the thing, we do have a, um email address. It's pinebarrenknits at gmail.com, right? Yep. So if you want to join and you aren't on Instagram, just send us a, um, I can talk, <laughs> send us an email with your, you know, you can send us your, an email with your project when you finish up. And we'll add you into the, the mix because, you know, I want you to be able to join in if you want to join in. And if you don't have Instagram, that's okay. Yep. So, but if you are on Instagram, just use, we'll, we will let you know. The hashtag will be down below. I'm going to sit short. Um, but now you're stitching. You were had one too many and then. No. Remember, I was always a stitch, but I went back and. No, you said you had. Yeah, I did. I had the right amount. Now, somehow I'm going to stitch short. Did the entire row. Okay, that line. is not the project for this. I, <laughs> that's why yeah, I, but it was easy that's enough. That's why I put the socks away. <laughs> Can I add on a stitch or would I have to go all the way back? I don't know. I don't. We'll have to look. We'll look at it when we get done. Oh, damn. Why, why are you just doing ribbing? That's what I'm doing. I know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like. Ribbing or, or a sock. Things I'm you don't have this. to focus on. <laughs> hey, well, I did go to the bureau. Oh, yeah. Last time. Okay. And now we're right. just talking among ourselves. And I, yeah. <laughs> did you work on did you work on that at all or not? The brioche? Yeah. No. No. Oh, okay. No. We're only sticking to these projects right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, right. I am gonna get back to that because I did finish that. So I do need to pull an old project off that list. I have a list of projects that are okay. A year or so old. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now that I'm done with that, I need to pick up. I'm going to have one of the kids pick tonight. I'm gonna to fold them up and put it in a jar and have them pick it. Because if I pick it... What do you mean? Like, to work on? Yeah. Oh, okay. From so old. Like, These are all new. For a second. Yeah. Okay. All right. I keep my hat back on now. I'm not... <laughs> okay. So, I guess... I think that's all of the, like, knitting content. We do have some... I do have some um, shop talk for later, which we will do. But I think we are going to talk about what we did this past weekend. 
<clears throat> right? Yes. Okay. So if you if you are on any type of social media that has anything to do with knitting, you know that this past week <laughs> yes. was, was apparently Knitting Live by Vogue. Um, <laughs> yeah. Knitting, wait. Yeah. Knitting Live by Vogue. Vogue. Okay. Yeah. Apparently they changed the name. I don't know why. That's interesting though. That Anyways. Is. So we were, I'm still going to call it Vogue Knitting Live. We were, <laughs> we were at Vogue Knitting Live this past Saturday. Um, oh. And if you don't, I mean, I would assume you probably already know what Vogue Knitting Live or yeah. Knitting Live by Vogue is, but it's, I think it starts on Thursday and goes through Sunday and you can do classes and they have a marketplace and um, they have a fashion show. They have lectures. They have mm -hmm. keynotes. They have all sorts of stuff. It's up at the um, Marriott Marquis in Times Square in New York City. This was only my second time ever going to New York City. Um, okay, let's start with. Oh, and we took our friend Luann. Hi, Luann. Hi, with Luann. us too. Um, so. It all went smoothly. We got up to Hoboken because we were going to take the train into the city. And the three of us <laughs> said... Well, things have changed. The last yes. time, like, yes. I used to frequent New York a lot. And then back in the day, like, I think the well, last time I've been... There were also people that worked in the train station. <laughs> yeah. But the last time I was there, it was 2015. And in 2015, it wasn't as... Automated everything. Yeah, you better like know what have, you're doing because yeah. there's. We did find somebody to ask, but yeah, they did have like the machines <laughs> and stuff. But I don't know. Like I guess there, like there's, there was somebody there. <sighs> there wasn't goodness. somebody w working a ticket thing. Put yeah, it that no. way. But it was a little bit more like now everything is like Apple Pay and stuff like that, and it's all automated. And you better know where you, yeah. what train you need to get on to on, and how to pay and all that stuff because. Yeah, that thankfully was, Keisha found somebody to ask, but we're just like the three of us are looking at each other like, yeah, that was that was probably the only hiccup. Um, and was the, the uh, right and and you know somebody mentioned you can use your phone to to figure yeah. out, but the problem is is that that station in Hoboken you have to know whether it's path, whether it's the train or whether it's right. the bus. So yeah, you can use your phone, but you're looking at your phone going, yeah. Which what am I supposed to get on? Which so we're from South Jersey and yeah, from we South South know. Jersey and in our town there is that what seven fifty bus that runs from yeah. Cape May to Philly. Twice that a is day. it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. And it's seven a.m. in the morning <laughs> is when it gets past my house, and seven p.m. at night. So <laughs> that's it. So when so you get up there, yeah. everybody's like, it's kind of like, oh, we get it, we get it, we get it, and you know, we didn't get it, and but that was the only hiccup. And then yeah. the other problem is, well, there was there was like stuff going on with the tracks too. Well, so. that and that's what I said. The yeah. other problem is if you are not familiar. With your, which we obviously were not, um, we could have taken the trains, the train right up to there. But then, because they were working on tracks and replacing tracks, you would have to get off and yeah, get back on the train, and it just. So, so we got off at Thirty Third Street and walked from Thirty Third Street to the hotel, which right. was no no problem. It was only like yeah. three quarters of a mile, which was you know fifteen minute walk actually, right. which was great after spending. However long we were in the car, we were, it was a long. And that's all I like. I said I don't. We got our steps in. I don't do well with this up close. Like I've never been. I just always had issues way before the pandemic. And every time, like I go to the big, I feel like cooties were on me, and just and we were all up and close with people. And ugh. but it wasn't too bad because it was on the weekend. It so wasn't. I didn't think it, it wasn't was that bad. bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. And you're underground much with dirt from the 1800s. Than some places we've been in the last year. Oh yeah, not much. <laughs> And then anyway, like, yeah. But, so it was, it was, it was. We walked. We got there. I think we got there right around like ten thirty. Yeah. And uh, we had already been planning to meet up with friends, so we and hope thought we were going to miss the train, or whatever. Well, the train comes every six minutes, but um, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like thought we were going to. It was like it was just that we, we get there at nine thirty, and I'm like ninety five miles an hour down the parkway. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I drive like that anyway. Well, because so. we, we were originally trying to get there at ten when yeah. everything opened up, because we, you know, we do have we. Depending on how long we stayed, then we still had to turn around and do the whole trip all the way back right. home because we weren't staying. So yeah, so yeah, so we were yeah. So it doesn't matter. We got there ten thirty. It was fun. Yeah, um, we had uh, planned to meet up with friends, and they were all there as we so we ch checked our codes. We did the registration. It was all very easy. It was easy, smooth, very organized. Yeah, we were a little. We did have to ask somebody where 
the registration desk was because when we were coming in, we were a little confused as to where the re registration desk was, but somebody... And just how different hotels are. So we get in the elevator and we get in oh, the elevator doors and we're looking and I'm like, wait, no where buttons. are the numbers? Like, There's how do no you... <laughs> and you have to, before you get in the oh. elevator, put the number in. And I'm like... We didn't, I didn't. We, we had no idea, but <laughs> I don't know how we got to where we got to, but we got there. We got there. We yeah. got there. That's the important part. And then so we got to Vogue Nitty Live on the. We went to the fifth floor because we were just going for the marketplace. We knew that we were yeah. not doing any classes Class or, or anything. anything. We just. We, and this is our first. I wasn't going to buy anything either. Yeah, this was our first uh, time ever going to Vogue Nitty Live. Yeah. So, like I said, only my second time ever going in the city. The last time I went into New York City, I was uh, in high school, and all I went to was the Metropolitan Art Museum and MoMA. The what is that? Mo the Museum of Modern Art. So yeah. Keisha used to go to the city when I used she to go there. was younger. Yeah, so I would do the city. At, like, I would do New York City one weekend, and another weekend I would do Philly. Um, I used to like the punk scene back in the day. <laughs> and I used to love it. CBGB's, if I were to walk into that place, it's not there anymore, obviously. But I'm surprised even then. I hang <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> but anywho um yeah so so we got to yeah we decided to do the fifth floor first um go check out the the uh the marketplace on the fifth <laughs> floor first Ooh. Well, it's um, it was really yeah. cool yeah it's the marketplace is what we but it's, it's really on two cool. floors though right yeah yeah was, but we were checking out the fifth floor before we did the fifth floor and the right. sixth floor and it's really neat because you walk in and it's not just um, yarn and stuff. They have a lot of like art type things. They yeah. had a guy who was doing like portraits with crochet and another guy who did portraits with like just little itty bitty bits of yarn. Um, I think I actually, so I think I started fi fo following the one guy on Instagram. He's, oh yeah, that was really cool. Like, art, I think art guy, I think is the name. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And then there was Keisha's favorite. There was, <laughs> Somebody who did like they looked like life size cats. Awesome. I took pictures funny. of the two cats that look like. Because you know how much Keisha loves cats. I love cats. <laughs> I mean, I've got two of them, but <laughs> wait, where's my photos? Oh, here we go. Um a yarn art guy. That was the, the name. So this is I'll show you. These are which I don't oh. I doubt you can I don't know. Oh, here you go. You can sort of I don't know if you can see. You might be able to see, but he's yarn art guy on Instagram. And that's all made with like little pieces of yarn. I don't know if I'm getting close enough. You'll have to just go over and see. He's on Instagram. He's yarn art guy on Instagram. I'll put him down below. There's too. the setup Here I'll of all the cats. There we go. Somebody knitted those. Yeah, and, and you could buy the cats. Yes. Yeah, oh, so let me show you. Purchase, so, so this is. And hope oh, always find a mess. <laughs> always find. It was like one of the first things we saw because, of course, you know we had been traveling for a while, and we were all like, "We need a bathroom before we do anything else." Yeah. So as we're heading to the bathroom, I see this on the right hand side as we're coming. And I by. know when she and says, I, "Quiche," I go, <laughs> "I go quiche," and I give her like a little thumb, and she's just like, "Well, they even if you look down in the corner, you can even see like it was a baby cat and yeah. kittens." And there was, there was even mice. I saw a little mice yeah, there, yep. too. So this so. cat looks like Mishka. Yeah. And then oh, and that cat Seamus. looks like Seamus. Yeah. The cat that we have. And then, and look, and they're also in the vicinity of one another, yeah, too. Yeah, Look at that. Just like at home. So my kid, too, was just like, Mom, you didn't get him? <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think that... <laughs> Anyway. So, anywho. Anyway, they were really neat. I mean, I, I can't imagine the the time and effort that it must go, For it must go into oh, making, making them. It's really, really, really yeah, I would have cool. died if somebody had a knitted <laughs> Juno. Oh, your dog? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Then I would have had to buy. I would have had to buy the whole set. Dog, <laughs> two cats. <laughs> yeah. So there was, oh, and I took a picture of this dress that was absolutely fabulous. Um, oh, and the other thing that was really cool was uh, lunch. Oh, sorry. Well, yes, lunch, lunch was, was great. Goodness. But no, there was um, this, this was, was this one? This was when we, oh, well, I'll get to that later. Well, anyway, this was one of the, look at this dress. Look yeah, that's at gorgeous. That dress. 
That is so. That, that's one of them because there was a lot of neat. cool knitted. Yeah, that looking. was uh, Anne Blackwell, which I think you can see that on the sign. Anyway, Anne Blackwell. But yeah, um, and uh, so yeah, so we, so we met. Oh, so we walked into the fifth floor, and there, as we walked ah! in, was our friend Lori from Skein Scoop, and mm -hmm. Kevin and Ray from Needles at the Ready, so and. We got to meet for the first time. I think it was Laura and Kate were there. Kim right wasn't first. there right then. Right. Um, all right there as we walked in and hugs all around. And I about so, died. Oh, yeah. So oh, we took a picture. Um, here's the picture. I'm always yelling at people, can you take a picture of all of us? <laughs> so, I mean, if you follow us on Instagram, you've probably already seen this. But I yeah. know we have a lot more people on YouTube than mm -hmm. on Instagram. So there you go. So there we all are together. And notice how oh, and every time we take a picture, friend. Hope is near her twin. <laughs> and then I'm near my twin. Uh, you guys know that I'm near Ray and you're near Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, and, and our friend Luann was there too yeah. with us. So yeah, so we had, it was so nice. We, I mean, it was a good time. It was so It nice. was one of those. Nice to see everyone. I think I talked about my rhyme, rhyme back bucket. Oh yeah, we got our bucket. My kids, though. man, they got out taken out of that bucket with the <laughs> kids. But this past weekend, I got to oh, fill that bucket back was, up again. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. We had such a good time. So we, we did. We walked around the marketplace on the fifth floor. Um, there's beautiful, lots of beautiful things. Though mm -hmm. we did, there were a couple of empty booths, and Keisha had to pop into yeah. one and pretend she Hi. said. <laughs> Hope May Yarn Co. <laughs> and Simply Vintage, vintage Design. design. So well, hope so next year. So who knows? We'll we'll apply and see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So, um yeah, so we so yeah, so uh Amy from Lobby and Me was on that was she was on the fifth floor and yeah. um oh, why can't I think her name? Oh, I, I was so overstimulated. Pa I was just like Paula, pa I think it's Paula of uh, Mayak. We saw her. Um yeah, so there was just lots of lots of you know, lots of cool booths, really neat yeah. stuff. Uh, do we want to talk? I guess we what we walked around everywhere before we did any shopping. Yeah. So we we walked around the fifth floor, um, and then well, I was also planning on meeting. We were we were planning on meeting up with our friend Arena from the lo local yarn and, shop and Elsa from the local yarn shop. Yeah, um, the local like the yoke the local local yarn Yodel store. Yodel. The local yarn store in South Orange, yeah. New Jersey. And we, so we walked around the fifth floor and then we met Arena up on the sixth floor. Um, and we, and then we walked, oh, and that's when I saw, because we were trying to tell Arena where we were to meet. And as we came oh, off the elevator, or no, yeah. I guess up the escalator. There was this enormous crocheted Scrabble board. So that this shows a little bit more of that. That was really so, cool. Yeah. And right next to it, somebody so, did like a subway. I yeah, didn't take a picture looked, of that. Yeah, I know. That looks so cool. Like and even the seats, everything was cool. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that was, the, but yeah, they have the, I thought that was really neat. All the art. Yeah. Type Different things types that of art had. and stuff. Um, yeah, I even seen an artist. I bought stuff from in Vermont. Oh, cool! Yeah, um, Carol, she does these like um, just like um, printed like knits, like oh, uh, stitches oh, yeah. and stuff. Janet actually bought one of the pictures. I bought some of the stationery and cards oh, cool. that I need to use, but I don't because they're so pretty. <laughs> but her name is Carol. I can't think of the last name. I'll give it to you. And yeah, yeah. I can put it. But in when I saw, I'm walking past, and I'm like, wait a minute. I go up to her, and I'm like. Do you have things in Frog Hollow on Church Street in Vermont? And she just looked at me and she's like, Yes. I'm like, <laughs> I have some of your stuff. <laughs> so that was really cool. Like just to see stuff like that. Yeah. And now just you know, I see and notice things. Now I'm hot again. Yeah. But oh, then okay. so should I show what I purchased? There, I'll do that first. Oh, okay. Um Oh no. Yeah. No, you can. Uh yeah. why is there gonna say something? Oh, we, um, I unfortunately, I should have taken more pictures and next year I will be better about that. But my mm. phone was dying because we had some phone issues. Keisha's mm. didn't charge and then she was. Yeah, mine didn't charge the night before. So it was just weird. We, yeah. were, we were kind of on like practically dead batteries. So I didn't take too many pictures and I wish I had because I was like, oh, that was some really cool stuff. But mm. maybe next year we will get more pictures of things. But, but it was really, really neat. Oops. And definitely, I mean, if you don't, if there's no classes that interest you um, 
or you know and you just definitely the marketplace is definitely worth i mean it was really fun lots yeah. you know lots to see um and, and yeah so that was that was fun go ahead and show yeah I mean, so I then the i said i was going to be good and maybe get myself one small tree and then you know um that never works out um but you but, didn't buy any yarn no i didn't buy any yarn <laughs> i did <laughs> Yeah, which is interesting. Yeah. So I do like bag. Now, this is not my typical bag. Because she is... needed another bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes, I'm throwing shade. <laughs> yeah, I hope. I actually so hope this not play, though. I will say that. So, so anyway, but this bag. It is cool. It's really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin and Ray. <laughs> because. You know, I was talking about the, you know, this. Oh, wait, the first. Well, I'll do it the bag first. Irina had it first. She yeah, Irina had it first. Her and Elsa, Elsa. Elsa both had and, them. But I went and looked at them and I'm like, you know, I don't need this. And then, but I'm like, they're so cute and they're so different. They had really, yeah. really good fabric. And the name of the place is. I still think you should have gotten the one with the cats all over 65 it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I might be in it. But. <laughs> So anyways, I'm looking and I'm looking at some of them and I kind of looked at this and Kevin is such a great observer because he was just like, well, I see you. this is more like him and Ray both was like, this is you. And it is me because I'm looking at the trees and like the kind of like the nature type thing, you know, and even because there was a belt that came with it that was brown. Yeah. And then I looked over at them and they were just like, uh, -uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh, -uh. and so... <laughs> Here we are. So I got this bag, and it's you know what? Looking at it this way, it doesn't seem that big, but inside though, it's nice. Like it it's has like pockets and everything, big it's pockets really and nice. stuff. It is a really cute bag, so I'm really happy with yeah. it. Um, yeah. So I got the bag, and then well, before I got the bag, I got earrings. You got oh yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. You were having earrings. Yeah, I forgot. I was. You were having a hot flash. Yeah, flash you were having a hot flash. You left. There yeah. was a few people in the booth, and I was just like, and I guess I could. I, I could put these on fun. today. Yeah, those would be because that. Yeah, yeah. Those and then cool. we'll show this one together because we both got it. Oh, okay. So then was it um, from the Ninny Posse? It was. It was Laura from the Ninny Posse. She had opened up she some had, like lotion the, or something yeah the 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 salt the, the salve. salve the salve, salve. salve. so salve. she she had us all when hope was like oh i'm getting some of that and i was oh, just like my cuticles have been awful if you have i mean we're all knitters right so yeah. or make some stuff with yarn and you know as yeah. that sometimes rubs against your cuticles and whatnot it can get you know they can get really dry and especially mm -hmm. with me as a yarn dyer my hands are in water all day long and my cuticles have just been yeah awful this winter and especially me with being a germaphobe and constantly washing her hands nonstop. Um, I got the, well, we ended up getting the kits because Kevin talked about, he was like, you got to try the body lotion, yeah. the body butter. Yeah. He said it was amazing, which it is. My husband will tell you it is too. Oh, what's he doing in your stuff? I always. <laughs> and then, you know, so they had this deal going on. Oh, crap, my lippy. Oh, we, we didn't even say who it was. Oh, so it's, oh. Uh, it's, so this is their, their shepherdist salve. Um, and it's by the Long Island Livestock Company. Yeah. So there's the, and they were oh, very nice. And I got the honey almond scent and Keisha got, I got the petals. The petals. Yeah. Which I cannot do because if you have like, it's a very strong floral smell, and that bothers me. I live in a house so. of farts and boys and dogs and cats. I need something this is, that smells. Th yeah, this yeah. is a very light smell. And that's smell. got, what, almond? Yeah, yeah she I can't, can't do get this. down with that anyway. She can't do this because yeah. it, it has almond oil in it, so she can't do this. But this right here, I can do but this. She can do that one. Oh, nice. And oh. they did have, they had a plain one that was just pure lanolin. Oh, we should say, it's made with lanolin, yeah. which, you know, comes from the wool, from sheep, mm. from wool. Um so, so yeah, so, which is really nice because it's lanolin, which means, you know, you can put it on your fingers and knit with it. And yeah. it's not, and it really not, doesn't have, because I have what the, a, another type of lo like lotion stuff for your hands or whatever. And it's really oily. Yeah. So to speak. And it, all over everything when I touch for a oh, little bit, yeah. this right here is amazing. Yeah, it just goes right into your skin. And then, um, oh, 
And you got the... So, didn't you get stuff too? Yeah, I got oh, stuff yeah. too. Yeah, I got the, the... It was a show special. They It came with the salve, the body butter, the a bar soap, soap and, and a lippy. And a lippy. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, I got... I did the, all the almond or the honey almond or the... I think this is just honey. And yeah, I got the honey lippy too. Yeah, I got the honey lippy. Got the honey lippy. <laughs> and I got the lavender mm, tea. It's like soap. I got the lavender soap. That's I what, like lavender. That's what the lavender tea tastes so, like. Yeah, so I got the lavender soap. She can dip that in so, hot water. Ignore her. Oh, and we also got a little... Ah, uh, uh, yeah. The knitting posse. The yes. knitting posse gave us yep. a little tape measure with the knitting posse logo mm -hmm. on it, so... That's delightful. That's cool. My lips are kissable. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, so we got those from, and oh. really, really cool stuff. Let's talk about lunch. And then, is that, that's all of your stuff? That's all I bought. Here, I'll show my stuff. Finished. Yeah. Or do we want to talk about lunch? No, yeah, oh. let's talk about your okay. stuff first, yeah. and then we'll get to right. lunch. And then, oh, so we got, oh, one yeah. of the, the Unit booth yep. was handing out these little, which is really cute. Yeah, little project bags, and with the project bag came a free pattern. Yep. So it's actually two free patterns. You get the Edith, and I can't remember what the other one was. Yeah, I can't. I didn't bring mine. But anyway, yeah. So you, yeah. So yeah. So it was. I didn't just show the back of this, did I? I don't no. Know. Okay. Because that's the... I When well, you came out of the bag, but I don't think anybody could oh. get it, though. Okay, I'll have to see if, that, if it was. And anyway. And happy face there. Yeah, and then and we also got another little coupon for 50% mm -hmm. off of... And she was really cool. Water lilies, yeah. Yeah. So that... So, so yeah, I really like that texture. I do, one. too. I think that's really cool. Anyway, and, oh, and the other one that it came with it. Did you... Did you? Oh, here, I'll... I'll I didn't bring... Yeah. Did you show... Did you... um? Did you get the patterns? I went on and got the free pattern. No, already. not yet. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> the other one that came with it was, let me show you. Oh, 131. Oh, my, we're, we've been chatty today. <laughs> That's my husband's life number. His, what does that mean? Um, when he was in the Army, his uh, helicopter test score was 131 okay at the lola pullover was the other one and his state police class is oh, 131 oh, okay it's not pretty yeah good. that's really that is pretty. pretty yeah so anyway so those were and then i did buy yarn now i i nor ever since i started dyeing yarn i don't buy unless i'm buying it for a project i don't buy a lot of yarn just because I have a lot of yarn, <laughs> but I do like to get things that I don't dye. Like I don't dye gradients and I don't dye self striping. So I got, oh, can you see it? Dirty you hippie. You dirty hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I love that. that. Look at those. Oh, here, I'll pull one out because you can't see it very well. But it is, it does actually have, which I can't show you it, but because it's yeah, it has a, a QR code thing. Um, but it does actually have a pa that pattern that the socks are knit in. You get that pattern with the um, with the sock yarn. I don't know that I'm going to do that one. I mean, it looks fine, but I really kind of wanted to make another pair of the Polar Arc socks, which that's not quite the color it is. It's a li coming out a little brighter on yeah. the screen than it is in real life. Um, but it's her it's Freya, which I didn't say that. It's Freya Han uh, Freya Fine hand paints um yarn and yeah and it's her soulmates um which is hand dyed identical ombre sock yarn balls uh made with u.s shanko merino and um it's a, so it's a super wash i think it's it's, so each ball is 50 grams and there's um 228 yards per it's a hundred percent wool which hope I'll just have to be they just will they will I will not be using them to go every day yeah. yeah they won't be like you know because I'm afraid with it, uh, not having any nylon in it I'm kind of rough on my socks so they'll probably be more my special occasion socks mm -hmm. than my you know walking the treadmill in the gym <laughs> socks probably not so much so because I don't want to destroy them because I think they are this is gorgeous <laughs> yarn yeah it's really she good. had I love the so color. many um, it's very vibrant. Yeah. So she has beautiful, beautiful uh, 
gradient sock sets. But I just, this one and the name Dirty Hippie, come on. I had to. So, <laughs> so yeah, so that's what. What are you doing? This one's. <laughs> How much further do I have to go? <laughs> oh my god! I was just like, "What is she?" <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, so um, yeah, so yeah, so she had beautiful gradients, um, lots of different Almost options. Ton I mean, tons of different options. But I think I'm going to do. I mean, I could do that pattern that's on the thing, which then maybe I could even enter the the kit knit along. I don't know. Kevin and Ray, if I do a different pattern, is it still knitting a kit? Because <laughs> um, I kind of want to do the polar arc because right. I'm really enjoying knitting the polar arc. Um, but this one also, I mean, it's also another yeah, one kit. for there doing gradients. So, yeah, but I think I'm probably going to do the polar arc because I really want to do it an another time. And I like the yarn that I'm doing my polar yeah, arc Yeah, they said don't put the kits together yourself. But it's a kit. I just anyway. Yeah, it probably doesn't count. So whatever. I'll <laughs> just wait and knit it when I finish my other polar arc instead of casting it on now when I shouldn't be casting on anyway because I need to get the other stuff done. Right. So, so yeah. But I like my my ones that I'm doing with the polar arc. But they're just like two color really, and I mean it's fun. But I thought this would be super fun yeah. to do. So, and since my kids call fun, me fun, a hippie fun. all the time, I there you figured. Go. Sure, I'll embrace it. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So I think that's all of our purchases from Vogue Knitting Live. Yep. Oh. Well, we got to talk about the. So we went to. I can't pronounce it. Oh, and I don't. I, do you know what it is? Oh, we. It's a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, I, I have it in the the yeah. text message feed. So I'll yeah. Just, so it's a it's a Mexican it restaurant. Starts with the T. It's right around the corner from the Mar. This is what it looks like. Oh, there we go. Yeah. From the, really nice. From the Mar Marriott Marquis yeah. right there in Times Maybe, Square. All right. So that's, so, I can't. Oh, my goodness. We got. We, so in true, you know, you go to chi. a Mexican. Didn't yeah. Tell us something chi. Something but you like go that. to a Mexican restaurant and I do what all people do when you go to a Mexican restaurant. I order a cheeseburger. But it hey, wasn't. What are you talking about? I had French toast I, and it was delicious. But it wasn't <laughs> like any type of like, it was really good. Like, let me see. Yeah, so that's the cheeseburger I ordered. Yeah. And it was uh, skinny, spicy I don't spicy know why fries. she's skipping to the entree. We had the best oh. appetizers. Yeah, so. And she you. tried to kill herself. Yeah, so <laughs> this is why So we ordered drinks, and of course, like, I get a mimosa. Um, but, it, but it's not a regular mimosa. It's a yeah, mango. Yeah, a mango mimosa. Which so, mango mimosa. And um, and I'm telling some type of BS, like, oh, it'll be different because it's the mango juice. Knowing good and full well that I can't, it was going to be fresh. And when they sat it down in front of me, I said, they they picked the mango just right then and did it. it that's how fresh it was. But it was, di and then I'm sitting here it trying not to drink it really fast. Everybody else is taking these little dainty so slips and I, I was like... Like it was out. really, yeah. really good. And, and the appetizers, they got, they got like, you know, the chips and all. And one of them was like regular guacamole. And then the other one was a fruited guacamole. And it had pomegranate, pomegranate, apple, and more fresh mango. Okay, first off, let's start with, she's not supposed to eat avocado anyway, because she's allergic to that, But too. with the right amount of Benadryl, I'm not a doctor, so don't <laughs> listen to anything that do I'm saying. Do not do what she because, does. Because, um, <laughs> so then, I think, like, you know, I'm feeding everybody a line of crap, like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I was tearing up this uh, <laughs> guacamole. so good. With the, and surprise me, of so all people, with the good. pomegranate and all, and I'm sitting there in hope I could feel her with this look, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like she was like she signed off. She was okay with the mango, like mimosa, but like I, I took it too far with the what you call it. So I'm sitting there and I'm oh. starting to panic because now I'm like I can feel like my throat, like my throat feeling really itchy and my tongue feeling weird, and I'm making all kind of deals with God. Like please, <laughs> 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 I will stop doing this stupid mess. 
<laughs> you just get, I sat up there, I don't know how many villains I took, uh, but, and again, I do not suggest that anybody, I'm not going to tell you how many I took, <sighs> do not do that, because one of these days, I'm going to get very unlucky. If you have food allergies, don't yeah, eat don't the things eat you're the allergic things to. You're, and like, again, I'm late in life <laughs> discovering this. I don't, I, yeah. maybe I was, uh, yeah. Because you said you didn't really eat those things. Yeah, yeah, I I didn't have avocado until, God, it was like probably, well, now it's like 14 years ago or something like that. Yeah. It was a while back. And mango, I literally just tried that a couple of years ago because I'm, I'm kind of funky about stuff like that. And my sister's like, uh, because you are allergic to that stuff. And I'm like, well, how do you know that? Like, <laughs> and I, you know. Yeah, but the they were... Absolutely. Oh my delicious. god, the food Absolutely was amazing. Delicious. And we sat there, we had a reservation at, for twelve thirty. Yeah. We oh stayed there until like twelve thirty to three, yeah. I think it was. And now I have problems with fresh tomatoes. So Oh yeah, we're um, a match. And that's that's tough at a Mexican restaurant because a lot of things come with fresh tomatoes. And she's like, no tomatoes. They were just like, so, get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so kidding. I was just like, mm. and and I'm always nervous about because if it's called, if it says it has tomatoes, sometimes when you say you don't want tomatoes or whatever, yeah, <laughs> and that I can't have that even yeah. anything, the even just the juice of the tomato or whatever that'll upset me. So it's fine. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna order anything that would have tomatoes. So I ordered French. It was some sort of like what was it like pan <laughs> seared banana banana with delicious with, with, uh, the uh, shell crema. De, crema, de crema la, la de, 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 or delushi, de, 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 uh, look at us. We can't, we have yeah. no idea. Anyway, it was, it's essentially caramel sauce. It was so good. And it had strawberry and black, black, what are the blackberries mm. on top. Oh my God. And with the, cause I had one of the mimosas too. Perfect. <sighs> Oh my Lunch goodness. Lunch was amazing. So good. And so I find this on the menu and we had a couple other people who are not a big, you know, not, not super adventurous eaters and they weren't sure if they wanted some of the things. And I said, Oh, I'm getting the French toast. Half the table got the French yeah. toast. <laughs> it was Everybody's really food looked good. amazing. Oh my goodness. It yeah. was. It was yeah. such a nice time. Really so. good restaurant. So re really, really, really nice. And then, um, at, so we had, we did this out of order because we actually did all of our shopping after lunch, which is yes. good. Makes sense on a full stomach because you want, yeah, you don't well, want to and you and you don't want to carry all that stuff yeah. around all day. So we pretty much shopped and then we were pretty much done with the um, with the. I can talk with the with the marketplace. Yeah. And so then yeah, we hung out for a little while longer, uh, charged our phones for a little bit, yeah, and knit for a bit, and then we thought about having dinner, but. Um, ended up not doing that so we we headed back to the yeah. train station and then we didn't we stopped for dinner on the way it was just fast mm, food no yeah. big deal um it was fine there was nothing wrong with it it was just mm. you know nothing nothing to nothing to like <laughs> oh you gotta try this yeah. on exit such and such yeah. <laughs> um but yeah so we took the train back over to hoboken and then got on the garden state and headed and drove and drove and drove dropped luann off and yep. then, yeah but we didn't get home to what like 11 it was after 11 i think wasn't it no it was 11 it was 11 yeah i looked different at one point yeah. hope yeah, passed out. <laughs> yeah. I was not out. I, because, I've never seen Hope like she's like <laughs> <laughs> mouth all open. Yeah. <laughs> I was tired because oh, uh, I wish I, I could have took a picture. <laughs> Y'all know I do take a picture of the people <laughs> sleeping and snoring. But <laughs> good thing she was driving. <laughs> but no, oh I, I hadn't gotten a lot of sleep the night before. I think I was yeah. too excited about going. So yeah, that yeah. It is what it is. Whatever. It's all good. Had a blast. It was. So it was a lot of fun. you get a oh chance God, to again. go to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're out of, out of uh, the shot there. There we go. There we Come go. on back in. Okay. Um, yeah. So... <laughs> So so yeah, if you get the chance to go to I'm excited for next year. Knitting Live yeah. by Vogue. Apparently it's going to be the sixteenth through the nineteenth of January okay, next year. So yeah, if you, get a, room. No, if you get a chance to go if you're in the area, I mean yeah. you can take public transportation right now. And even a one day trip. I mean Yeah. Yeah. yeah it really Because again, really if you're not nice. taking classes and stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So one of these days I would love I have never taken a knitting class. Really? Ever. My mom taught me, and then I taught myself from that with... And then my friend taught me, and then <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> so, yeah, but I think Ooh. that's... 
Oh, I do have a little bit of shop talk. And either I'm having a heart attack oh. or I have to burp. I hope you just have to burp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We need to I know. That was that <laughs> this is a weird pair. Pulled something. I don't know. Oh. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Apparently, this is episode health issues with Asia. <laughs> Okay, so, all right, so as long as Keisha's okay, we will continue on. <laughs> um, so I think the only thing we have left is a little bit of shop talk. I've been okay. dyeing a lot of yarn. We've got, like I said, shows coming up in the next few weeks. Um, please come and see us if yes. you can. Hopefully there will be extra special things going on. We will let you know more. I, we are going to um, Rhode Island. I am so freaking yeah! excited about this. Yay! So we're excited. Um, but, yeah, so I have... I don't know whether I showed you guys this last time. I don't know whether I had this done. It didn't have a name if I did show it to you. Um, You're without a name. I might have showed it to you, and I might have been the same thing as it's happening now. That's not really the color. Nope. It's a warmer gray than this. Um, and the color name, it does have a, color, a name now. And hopefully, if I have decent lighting, I've got to invest in some good lighting. I don't know. Anyway, um, I actually was looking at the lights that... Um, that Sally told me about the mm -hmm. Stella ones, but they're all sold out on the website right now. So uh, yeah. So I'll probably mm -hmm. get one of those eventually. But anyway, this color way is granite. I only have it on one base right now. The base that I have it on is hope's favorite. Um, I will most likely be dying it on my other bases eventually, but it's a warm Ooh, not that like that. color. Yeah. But that's not the color of the yarn anyway, yeah. but it's, it's a warm gray with, um, with speckles so a nice tonal with some with lots of little specks um yeah uh, I'll hopefully it will be on the website soon color name granite. granite um and then this one doesn't have a name yet but i think i'm gonna call it happy accident <laughs> oh my gosh because it's a happy accident it is a happy accident i was trying to die Okay. Oh, I, if you if you follow us on Instagram, you probably have already seen this picture. But um, we met up with I, we I told we told you we met up with our, our friend Arena um, from the local yarn store, and that is us in my yarn. She's wearing isn't it romantic um, on my splendid DK base. Okay, if you are on Instagram, go check it out on Instagram because the color is way better than it's coming up. Oh, I don't know why it's it's kind of... Oh, maybe I need to turn the brightness down. Like it's kind of blown out. Let's see if that helps. Um, that's a little bit better. Um, there's also a glare. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway. so And I was wearing Isn't It Romantic in my fingering weight held double <laughs> on my short card again at Vogue Nanny Live. So we were twins for color anyway of the yarn <laughs> so but that's the color i meant to dye but i misread my recipe uh. <laughs> so i started to pour, pour one pot i started to pour the dye into and went huh, that doesn't look right <laughs> and then i realized what i did and i was able to fix everything else so all the rest of it is isn't it romantic i only did one batch of this so far but i know what i did so i can actually and i have some of the dye mixed up for it so i probably am going to dye more of it because i kind of love how it turned out oh that's mm, that's not quite yeah it's darker in real life but um but you can at least here you can see the speckles so it's got speckles um and it's this kind of let's see can i get it out is that out Mm, kind of yeah that's not too bad that's, that's too pretty bad. much the color um but then that, but you can't from here you can't see the speckle yeah. but, so i think that the name is going to be happy accident because you know it's a happy it's accident. a happy accident it's not a mistake it's a happy accident it's a happy, they're <laughs> all happy accidents so i think that's probably going to be the name of this yarn is happy accident but i haven't decided yet but i think that's probably going to be it and i really kind of Come on, tell me that is not my color. It is. You know what? Oh, oh my God. God. Talking about what we just talked about is making me itch. Oh. I feel like I'm breaking out in a 
I don't know. <laughs> You're fine right now. I know. Go God, need some I'm drugs. having a heart attack. <laughs> I'm like, so yeah. So, <laughs> oh, what's happening? So, so yeah. So I might have to. Oh man, I was just thinking. No, I already decided on my colors. Yeah, no. <laughs> but this would go really well. No, Keisha, calm look, down. Look, calm me, down. Look that color into this. All right, color. Keisha, but calm down. <laughs> anyway, I think kids who's right. She's she's catching the A and the D and the D for me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that's happy accident. Oh, Hopefully, if I'm I can jogging bar, I just realized that. So do I. What's your point? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I always try to like put a different one on, and I'm I looking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I'm like, why is this sticking out? This is weird. Yeah. Sidetrack. Hot pink. I've got on. It's all good. They're more comfortable. <laughs> you know what? It Who matches cares? my coat. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So we should probably wrap this up. I know. We're almost in two hours. I don't know if there's even anything that I need to cut out of this one, which is no. It. And we're not. We were kind you of. You are watching it all. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Sorry about that. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> Hopefully you had a knitting project. Yes. And, and it's like we're sitting and hanging out. Yeah. And if you did enjoy please give us a like subscribe we always forget to say that we should probably yeah. say it at the beginning because some of you may not have made it all the way to this <laughs> but we're hoping that you <laughs> did hopefully you made it this far or you're saving some yes. yes so we love all of you we are yep. so happy to have you with us um smoochy yes. boochies so uh we will be back in two weeks i think we podcast i think we'll have an episode come out as we are driving to rhode island i think am i right oh yeah i think I think yeah. our next one will come out as we are on our way to Rhode Island. Yes. I am so freaking so excited about Rhode Island in the very winter. Very exciting. That used to be our vacation spot. Everybody, hope for good weather. Oh, yeah. Because I don't want to drive in. Yeah, so good weather. Why did you good have weather. to put that out in the universe? Because I'm asking okay. for help. Oh, help, we're yeah. All, we're sending good vibes for yeah. good weather. Good come weather on. vibes. Let's go. Good weather vibes, everybody. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Because I, I want help. Yeah. <laughs> help with the vibes. Oh, yeah. Because it's not like you're just saying it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying All right. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are we going to rock our body tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway. Oh man. We are just, we're, we're out of control this morning. We might be a little punchy to do that. I know. <laughs> no. Anyway, oh that's it. Bye. We will see you in two weeks. In two weeks. Have a good one.